everybody, it's me Ryan here, or MNR Productions, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 15 highest rated LEGO Star Wars sets ever. This ranking is based off of the rating system based on user reviews on Brickset.com. You can view this list for yourself on Brickset.com if you'd like by viewing all Star Wars sets or any theme for that matter, and then sorting it by overall rating descending. So that's how I have combobulated this list. If you guys do enjoy the video, hit that like button. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you're new to the channel, of course, subscribe. So we have a pretty good list of sets here, some of which I agree with and some of which I do not. The list might be a little bit skewed because some sets may have fewer reviews than others, and therefore the rating may be artificially higher than it would be otherwise if more people had reviewed certain sets, I think. So you have to keep that in mind. This is not a perfect list. This is not how I would do it. But anyway, I want to just take a look at how the brick set users have rated these sets over the years. Coming in at number 15 with a rating of 4.8 out out of 5 with 22 reviews on Brickset is the Republic Dropship with ATOT. I think 4.8 out of 5 is a fair rating for this set. $250 for 1,758 pieces might have been a little bit pricey and they probably could have thrown in a couple more clone troopers I guess, but this is one of the more awesome LEGO Star Wars sets ever. It's one of the more coveted LEGO Star Wars sets even today. This thing is really pricey even on eBay. You can get easily $500 for this set used, so it's a pretty crazy popular one and it's one that I wish LEGO would remake at some point in the near future. At number 14 with a 5.0 rating with seven reviews, we have the 7283 Ultimate Space Battle. This is a really awesome set from 2005 that retailed originally for 50 US dollars. It included the exclusive red Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. That's something we hadn't gotten again until 2014 that was only ever included in this Target exclusive LEGO Ultimate Space Battle. So that was a really cool thing that LEGO had done back in the day. Unfortunately, I personally missed out on this set, so it's something that I never owned, but it's a really awesome set. I definitely agree with the seven people who have rated this set five stars. I totally think that's a fair rating for the set. It was a great value back in the day, and it, I think it's still one of the cooler LEGO Star Wars sets today, even though I don't own it. At number 13, out of the year 2000, we have the 7191 X-Wing Fighter. This is, of course, an Ultimate Collector Series model that cost $150 back in the day and included 1,300 pieces. It was given a rating of 4.9 out of 5 with 14 reviews, so as you guys can tell, the ratings are a little bit weird, or at least the way Brickset has it ordered here, in that some seem to have a higher rating however less reviews or more reviews but I'm just going off of the way it's ordered so keep that in mind I don't know why Brickset has it a little bit discombobulated but I still think this is an awesome Ultimate Collector Series model especially for back in the day the year 2000 was a rough time for LEGO back then they weren't quite creating great models yet but LEGO was able to create a good looking model here obviously I don't think this is one of the all-time great UCS sets I think this one is actually pretty clunky looking but for back in the day it was decent I don't really understand the rating on this one I think if I personally rated it it would get like a three out of five so so that's just my personal opinion. I think the newer UCS X-Wing is leaps and bounds above the original version here, but that's just my opinion. At number 12, we have the 6210 Jabba Sail Barge from 2006. It's been given a rating of 4.8 out of 5 stars with 48 reviews. So this thing is very, very highly regarded, and it included some great minifigures back in the day. Of course, we got Jabba the Hutt, we got Slave Leia, we got Boba Fett, we got R2-D2 with the tray there. We had Luke Skywalker, Lando Calrissian in his Skiff Guard outfit, and of course Han Solo and a Gamorrean Guard. So quite a slew of characters in this set for only $75 and 700 181 pieces. I mean, it had the Sarlacc pit. It also had the Desert Skiff there. And then, of course, you got the giant Jabba's Sail Barge. And this was the original Jabba Sail Barge. And for being the original version of something, that is a really darn good looking model. Some may argue it looks better than the newer model from 2013. So I totally agree with the 4.8 rating on this set. I think it looks amazing. And I think it was an amazing set, still is today. One of the more recent sets on the list comes in at number 11. It's the 75172 Y Wing Starfighter. This is actually the Rogue One model include 691 pieces, 5 minifigures, and retail for $60 in the United States. Out of 11 reviews, this was given a 4.9 out of 5 rating, which is really good. I think I can agree with that one. You get a great price per piece. You get some good minifigures in this set, including Admiral Raddus. You get more off. You get an astromech droid, a stormtrooper, and then, of course, your Y-Wing pilot. So not bad on the minifigure side of things. Of course, the Y-Wing is a great model. You can't go wrong with this Y-Wing. It's actually kind of a scaled-down version of the UCS one we just got this year. 
and then it also comes with a little crane and accessory type of vehicle which, which can be a nice inclusion although I never really liked them but I guess it just kind of added to this set in that respect but 4.9 out of 5 stars I can totally get behind that this is a very highly regarded Lego Star Wars set I think this one's going to go down maybe in like 10 years people are going to look back on this one and think this was a great set I think people might just not realize it now at number 10 on the list we have kind of an oddball from the year 2004 we have the mini tie interceptor set number 6965 this one retailed for about five dollars back in the day and it's been given a rating of 4.9 out of 5 from 11 reviews so this is a pretty solid mini model this is the only mini tie interceptor i think we've ever had from lego but it still is a pretty solid one i think it actually does a great job of resembling the model it's supposed to resemble it has a nice printed piece on top of the cockpit there it's got that clear windshield and it's just a nice mini model now why i wouldn't put it as one of the highest rated lego star wars sets ever it appears that the 11 people that have reviewed this would say it is so i guess if that's the way it is that's the way it is i would probably rate this like a four not a 4.9 on average is what the rating is so that's just my opinion but here it is at number 10 on the highest rated list Getting back into sets that should definitely be on the list, at number 9 we have the Republic Attack Gunship from 2008. This is one of the more legendary LEGO Star Wars sets I think for a lot of us, including me, because this is just kind of one of the sets that I grew up with. This was $120 back in the day when it was released for 1034 pieces. and you might say that's a little bit pricey, but I think it was totally worth it. You got a Saz Ventress, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Commander Cody, Plo Koon. This one was given a rating of 4.7 out of 5 with 115 reviews, so I think that is quite enough reviews to say that this set is definitely definitely coveted among many lego star wars fans for for what it is it might be the best republic gunship ever if it's not it's the second best in my opinion so that 2013 one was just a really solid model but this one is really good in its own respect it had a little speeder bike for cody had great minifigures you got jedi and sith and clone troopers and you can't go wrong with that so something about this set just a lot of people really seem to like and i can get behind that i think it's an awesome one it definitely deserves to be on the list as one of the high highest rated LEGO Star Wars sets ever. At number 8, we have the 2004 Millennium Falcon, set number 4504. This set retailed for $100 back when it was released with 985 pieces. It had all the typical characters you would get named Millennium Falcon, C-3PO, Chewbacca, Han Solo, and Princess Leia. And then it also threw in a snow trooper to man the turret to shoot at the Millennium Falcon as it tried to escape out of Hoth Echo Base. So this is the original good Millennium Falcon. The original, original Millennium Falcon was a really, really rough looking set. It used like UFO saucer pieces for the exterior and it just didn't look that great then Lego introduced this one in 2004 it's kind of stuck with the same general design ever since we've actually seen this design carry into the Kessel Run Millennium Falcon here in 2018 so 14 years later and this same similar type of model you know the design with the little flaps that can open up like it's very similar to what we had back then it still even is the same cockpit piece which is pretty crazy so 14 years not much has changed deservedly so this one has received a 4.7 out of 5 rating with 60 seven reviews since its release and that's really good i think this one is coveted by many people as well i just think people look at this one as like the original good money of falcon everything fits together very well it's a nice tight design and i really like it i hope to one day own it number seven on the list is one of my all-time favorite lego star wars sets it's the motorized at 80 10178 this one definitely deserves to be on the list 1137 pieces 130 dollars back when it was released in 2007 with four minifigures being luke skywalker a snow trooper an at 80 drive and general veers this one has received a rating of 4.8 out of 5 with 37 reviews so you can totally see that there has been a large enough sample size for this one to definitely be on the list as you can see this is a monster lego set it's one of the only motorized lego star wars sets ever and there have been a lot of lego star wars sets so it's actually pretty cool that lego was able to introduce this back in the day and i wish they would do some stuff like this more often they just don't seem to want to include any type of electric stuff with the star wars and it would just be cool maybe you know every few years to get something like this and you know who knows what it could be next maybe they would redo this model for maybe 150 160 dollars i could totally see it happening but that is the seventh highest rated lego star wars set ever at least according to brickset.com in at number six on the list of highest rated lego star wars sets ever on brickset.com we have the battle of endor set number 8038 from 2009 890 pieces 100 us dollars this is the only time we've gotten the battle of endor we've never had the endor bunker before and we've never had the endor bunker since 
and I think we might see it again in 2019. I think that would be cool for LEGO to bring this set back for the 20th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars. But this was quite the conglomerate of Endor stuff. We had the Ewok Flyer, we had the Ewok Catapult, we had a couple of Scout Speeder bikes, we also had an ATST included in the set, and it was actually a decent ATST model. And then, of course, the centerpiece being the Endor Bunker with Han Solo, Leia, R2D2, an Imperial Officer inside, a Rebel Trooper on the outside. Like, this was just an awesome LEGO Star Wars set. It's one of them classic sets from 2009 that is just so great a rating of 4.8 out of 5 with 35 reviewers on this set so this one is actually one of the lesser popular sets I would say out of like the remaining sets like I feel like this one does not go for a lot on eBay like I see it on eBay going for around what it used to retail for at $100 for some reason this one just isn't worth a ton of money today like you would have thought it would being the only version of the Endor Bunker ever so it's actually pretty cool in that regard that you can still pick the set up today for a reasonable price and it's a very highly regarded set amongst many fans. At number 5, we have what I would put at number 1. It's the Imperial Shuttle Set 10212. It retailed for $260 with 2,503 pieces, 5 minifigures when it was released in 2010. Had Luke Skywalker, a Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, an Imperial Officer, and an Imperial Pilot. So quite a good slew of minifigures. This one has actually received a perfect 5.0 rating with 16 reviews so like I said I would put this set at number one but Brickset has it listed here as the fifth highest rated set in 5.0 out of 5.0 with 16 reviews it doesn't get any better than that and that's what I would rate it myself five out of five this is an amazing Lego Star Wars set it's probably my favorite it is my favorite Lego Star Wars set ever if you didn't know so this is an incredible model one of the best UCS models ever actually the best UCS model ever let's be honest and let's move on to number four before I get too worked up on this one at number four we have the original ish UCS Death Star playset of course the original UCS Death Star was 10143 and it had like the panels and stuff but there was the remake of this set that came out in 2016 so this is the original version of that if that makes sense it's set 10188 from 2008 it included 3803 pieces for $400, 24 minifigures, obviously too many to go through and name all at once, but you can see them throughout the set as we take a look at the pictures here, and this is a set that I actually sold not too long ago, it's something that I kind of fell out of love with, but Brickset users have rated it 4.9 out of 5 with 30 reviews, I would kind of agree with that, I, as much as I don't like the set anymore, I see its value, I see that it's a really cool Lego set, it just wasn't for me anymore, I just didn't want to have it on display anymore, and I wanted to use the money and put it towards the use. UCS Money of Falcon back in late 2017, and that's what I did. So I ended up getting rid of this set, but I still think it's an awesome Lego Star Wars set. It's a great, amazing, incredible play set that kids would absolutely love, and I loved for a long time and then kind of fell out of love with. But I still respect it for what it is and would highly recommend it if you even have the slightest want for it. It's one of those classic Lego Star Wars sets that I think people will one day look back on and think highly of. At number three, we have the second version of the Slave 1, set 6209. It included 537 pieces for $50, with four minifigures being Boba Fett, Dengar, a Bespin Guard, and IG-88. So this was a great minifigure selection. I actually personally remember getting this set at Toys R Us in 2006, and I was very excited for this one. This one is a really good model. It was a great upgrade to a pretty crappy model that was the original Slave 1, and I think that's part of the reason this one has such a high rating. It received a 4.9 out of 5, with 9 92 ratings so this one very highly regarded once again amongst many lego star wars fans and i can totally get behind that i got rid of this set a while back or it broke or something i don't have it built anymore unfortunately but this is an incredible model it was a great upgrade again from a crappy model back in the early 2000s and this one was a very fine and polished model it looks incredible and i think a lot of people like it for that reason number two on the list we have kind of an odd one in here i don't think a lot of people would expect this one to be number two on the list but alas it's the seven six 79 Republic fighter tank from the year 2008. It included 592 pieces for $50 and included two regular Clone Wars clone troopers. This Lego set was only available from about a year in the United States from October 2008 to December 2009 and this one just was a really cool target exclusive. It had a great design and unlike the newer model it is actually a solid size. The newer Republic fighter tank is pretty crappy. This one received a rating of 4.9 out of 5 with 
41 reviews. So again, this one, like many of the others on the list, highly coveted by LEGO Star Wars fans, myself included. And you'll see a lot of sets on this list that I think you agree are just some of the all-time, all-time great LEGO Star Wars sets. And this one is definitely one of them, in my opinion. Just kind of harkens back to the days of building your clone army for me. So that is the Republic Fighter Tank in at number two on the list. Of course, number one to be seen here in a second, but it's definitely one that I can totally get behind as being one of the best LEGO Star Wars sets ever, being one of the top three LEGO Star Wars sets ever. It's definitely the best model of its kind. It's the 2007 7662 MTT. 21 minifigures, most of which being battle droids, 100 US dollars with 1,330 pieces. This was an incredible deal. It has been given a rating of 4.9 out of 5 with 112 reviews, and I totally agree with that. It was an incredible model. It has an incredible design. I think it's the best LEGO MTT ever. It's definitely the best Trade Federation droid ship ever from the original trilogy in Clone Wars. Like, there's just no question about it. This is one of the best LEGO Star Wars sets ever. It's just an incredible model. I can't say enough good things about it. I had this awesome droidica design, which, you know, for what it was, I think it was pretty decent. Also had this very nice kind of troop transport that you could pull out of the back. You, of course, could offload your droids out of the front. You could have the pilot up in the top of the MTT. There was just so many different things with this set. It was just such a nicely designed set. It had wheels on the bottom so you could roll it along the floor. Like, it was just a classic LEGO Star Wars set in all the classic ways. So that is the highest rated LEGO Star Wars set ever ever by brick set users at least people that have reviewed the sets that's where i have picked up this list from i think in the future i'll probably do the lowest rated sets i think that could be fun the problem though is that with the lowest rated you're mostly looking at sets that are like little poly bags that maybe weren't even released or only on limited release or <laughs> buildable figures so i would kind of like to go through weed that out and just do the sets that have like over 10 reviews and are actually boxed sets so i think that might actually be a good idea for the lowest rated sets video so i'll probably do that let me know if you guys would change this list in any way i of course would change it around in a couple of little ways but for the most part i totally agree with it i think all the sets on this list barring the polybag tie fighter deserve to be here and you can't really argue with many of them maybe the ucs x-wing also but the rest of them are pretty much all-time great lego star wars sets make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to the channel so there's more of my future lego videos i make a ton of different lego and lego star wars related content. That's it guys. Thank you all for watching the video. I'll catch you on the next one. Check out one of these two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet. Peace out.